So this is the first uh, Duramax in my shop. I've honestly never ever worked on a Duramax before, and this is a Yukon XL. What, tell me about the track. Uh, it's 03 Denali platform, but sitting on a three quarter ton chassis with an 06 LBZ Duramax with the six speed. Okay. Four wheel drive now. Uh, get rid of all the all wheel drive and all that from the okay. standard Denali. That's yeah. all gone. Yeah. Nice, fits like a glove. So this was a half ton. All wheel drive, six liter. Yeah. Denali. Okay, and but the frame, you've got the eight volt. Yes, this rim. is now an O2 three quarter ton suburban chassis. Oh, okay. Uh, All six liter the gas, okay. Yeah, yeah, Police truck, actually, what it was. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you could get the three quarter ton up until 2014, I think. Oh, yeah. In suburbans and Yukons. Okay, right, right, All right, right. Okay. And uh, Avalanche. Computer-wise, it's all factory, okay. other than programming with BFI Live. Okay, but you took the computer with the Duramax, so the this, Duramax was, this was the donor out of a... It was a yeah, it was a rollover. Okay. Uh, so motor training, transfer case, and rear end. Okay. Uh, and the whole rad support. Yeah. All computers, wiring hazard, it's all pickup truck. So what we do with EFI Live is we can change the VIN number in the diesel computer to match the, the truck itself. And then you reflash so they relearn each other, and then when you scan it, it's the same VIN number it's always had. So no engine lights, nope. no codes, nothing? Nope. Nothing. Okay, perfect. And, and is, there, is it a pain because it used to be a gas? Um, and it has to learn the BCM, right? Yes. Right. You have to force learn it. Yeah, okay. And then once it knows that it can talk to one another and you force learn that, then yeah. it's fine. Yeah, okay. But the idea is to keep the BCM because the BCM is always programmed to the vehicle. Right. So right. if you put a, pick, a standard cab pickup truck in here, your back windows won't work, your back wiper won't work. Okay. Because it never had that program into it. Right. So right. you want to keep the BCM from the Yukon or some. Right, 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 right. Okay, so and, and then when you go for e-test, you're reading the... Everything matches. Everything, everything matches. And yeah. everything, talk, everything talks to one another. Right on. And this isn't the first one you built? No, this is number four. Number four, right on. How long did it take you to do your first one compared to you? Uh, the first one was a few months. Yeah? Uh, a lot of research online. Yeah. Uh, a lot of forums. A lot, a lot of, of forums. <laughs> This frame was tough too, being a police truck, it was pretty rusty, so there was a lot of sandblasting. Clean yeah. back, so a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. When you cycle the key, the BCM would come on. Yeah. Before the PCM. On the, the gas, gas engine, engine. yes. Yeah. Whereas the diesel is exact opposite. The PCM turns on first, and then the BCM turns on. Okay. So there's some relay rewiring in order to turn them on opposite now. Okay. Or else it just misses information yep. and then the computer's not like, Yeah, this is, I'm confused. That's right, something's wrong. I'm gonna sit here, yeah. <laughs> and there's a few other things, like these aren't obviously wired for the Allison transmission. Right. So there's a little bit of wiring there. You gotta add powers and stuff. Okay. Because it's just, the harness in the truck's not meant for it. Simple stuff once you've done it a few times. Yeah. The first time though, you kind of run around. And there's always like the, or, um, the glow plug lights not wired in a gas in a gas truck. Right, right, All right. That little stuff, and then yep. being this too, being an 06 motor is a CAN bus. Yep. So that wiring's not in the truck. Being okay. an 03 body. Yeah. So yep. I had to run all that. Okay. Just little stepping stones here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many hours would you say? You're around 40. 40. Yep. And and the first one more than double. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah. easy. Triple, yeah. And there's things you could do. You know, like I say, this has got the big 11 and a half inch rear end in it. Yep. AAM. Uh, you don't have to do that. But no, no, that's right. But you call with it, so yeah, you you pull a massive camper. Yeah, 32 foot. Nice. And and do you notice it? No. <laughs> that's awesome. Compared to what it was with the six liter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Day difference. Have you tuned the engine at all? Or? It has a 100 horse tune on it right now. Okay. Um, it's got a uh, 5 tune on it. Uh, so it's got toe tune and yep. play tune and okay. everyday economy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what kind of mileage are you getting? On the highway, when we run this to Florida, we get about 25 miles a gallon. Wow, that's yeah. a pretty That's fully loaded. I mean, I can see it weighs in about 7,700 pounds. Yeah. The way it is. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's that's all I'm getting with the 4BT, mm -hmm. and I'm probably underpowered and louder than you are with this. I know I am, mm -hmm. but my wife refused to drive an XL. So. <laughs> <laughs>
when you go LBZ, the rad sport's two inches taller. Yeah. So this has uh, one of my custom reverse body lifts in it. Okay. So it's two inches in the front yeah. lift, and there's nothing in the rear. Oh, okay. And, but when you go to this rear end, this rear end physically sits an inch higher. Oh, okay. So in the end, it sits out pretty yeah, well, yeah, yeah. pretty decent. Yeah, I've been making these, these tapered lifts for guys all over all okay. the world now. Really? Yeah, I machine them up for them. I've shipped them everywhere. Really? Yeah. That's there's quite a few people interested in doing these. Yeah, Gerber, but I know that they're yeah. doing it. Eric, yeah. yeah. He mostly does the new body style stuff. Eric's a great guy. Yeah. yeah, I've talked to him many, many times. Okay, I've actually the this this past year when we went to floor, I blew a wheel bearing. Okay, ended up at his shop, repaired it there. And oh, nice, nice. Going. <laughs> right on. So you got to meet him personally. Oh yeah, he's yeah, I know guy. they do wonderful stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> but comparable to the 6BT almost, the, the 6BT is a little bit louder than the Silverado. Yeah. 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 Oh, that ride's nice. You got the dual climber control too, so yeah. what would you have to do there? Because the pickup wouldn't have had it, right? No, you got to cut. There's uh, some lines you got to prefabricate and cut in to, so the diesel pump will feed the rear as well. Okay. Um, the AC pump. The AC pump, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still trying to find that. That's new. I don't oh know yeah. Did. <laughs> yeah. Well, big tires, big truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it rides really nice. It's pretty much everything's factory inside. Yeah, yeah. After I put my computer back in my Tahoe, yes. I never relearned it to the Tahoe because it doesn't really need it. Okay. I got to put the key on and off for 10 yeah. minutes or whatever. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do that, then clear the codes and drive well, it for a bit. Like I say. Um, if I bring the EFI light bulb, I can force that learn. You don't have to do the key. Oh, okay. You just okay. click it and it does it. Oh, okay. It takes seconds instead of yeah, the half, the half hour. hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna get. If it's got a throttle, we work on it. Help support the channel by picking up a Tate Boss off TateBoss.com. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich. <laughs> <laughs>